now in the experience not trust me this is the actual cv that i'm talking about now in the experience which comes your internships or projects you can also highlight that as that section the name of the project or the name of the company can come here with the duration now this you have mentioned the name but he's not mentioned anything about what technical skills he has used what projects he has worked on what was his role and responsibility in this company or in this project all that is missing so so as mentioned previously i have visited more than hundreds of colleges in india for campus placements and screened more than 50000 cvs and that's why i have created this video to help you understand what is the right cv format that you should use as a fresher for campus placements now in part 1 of this video we discussed what should be the different sections that you should have in your cv and what information each of these sections should contain now it's a detailed uh, video if you have not watched that video then please go ahead and watch that video before you watch this video because in this video we are going to discuss the right resume and the wrong resume we are going to share some examples with you and we are going to compare both the resumes so now let's get started and see not so good cv now we are going to go through each and every section and we will understand what is actually missing in the cv and why a recruiter will not select the cv so uh, if you see the cv uh, the first information that is mentioned here that is fine that is name email address contact information all that is good now let's go to the next section which is the career objective now the career objective section is also good here it sticks to two lines which is completely okay and uh, so let's Let's move on to the next section. Now, in the next section, the education section, here uh, the person has mentioned the qualification, uh, the university, and the percentage. But what is missing here? The stream of uh, qualification that is missing if you've done be in which stream in which domain that is very important please mention that and the next point that is missing here is the duration the start date and the end date of your education now these are very minute information but trust me this is a very important information so do not miss that the next section that is here is key skills now key skills and your internships and projects i told you these are the two very important section in your cv this is going to make or break the deal for you now if you see the key skills yes on the right hand side there are some technical skills but they're just two three technical skills and that is not doing much uh, you know that is not showing a lot of uh, or that's not giving giving a right technical impression for the candidate so uh, i would say you need to highlight more of your technical skills and not just stick to one or two technical skills i'm sure in your four years of studies you have learned so many technical skills and you know so many different tools so many different operating systems please capture all of that and then uh, comes your professional skills uh, that is fine but the main aspect that we are looking for here is the technical skill so that does not give a great impression already now in the experience not trust me this is the actual cv that i'm talking about now in the experience which comes your internships or projects you can also highlight that as that section the name of the project or the name of the company can come here with the duration now this you have mentioned the name but he's not mentioned anything about what technical skills he has used what projects he has worked on what was his role and responsibility in this company or in this project all that is missing so if i want to get an idea of this person uh, what technical skills that this person has i only have this particular section and only two words other than that i'm not getting any idea about his technical skills so already the cv is you know in a reject zone because there is not much information from me to gauge from now in the academic projects they have mentioned the name of the project but they are describing the project as i said earlier you do not need to describe the project what is important is that you describe what are your roles and responsibilities in that project that is very important so you have to capture that rather than capturing details of the project so again there is no information here then comes the extra and co curricular activities which is fine and then the personal information but the cv is already rejected in these two sections because i am looking for a technical role i'm looking for the technical expertise where are those technical expertise in the cv 
absolutely not there so make sure you do not create a cv like this and always add a photo also one more pro tip is make sure your cv is in pdf format it makes uh, it look more formal uh and more business so that's why if your cv is in the pdf format that's always good but uh all those are secondary things the main thing is your key skills and your internships and projects those are the two important sections which you need to highlight with all your technical skills so that your cv gets selected now i hope you get an idea why this cv will get rejected in any interview process and make sure you do not create a cv like this now let's go to a good cv now that gives you an idea of how do you create your cv so this is a good cv that i'm talking about now again the first section is name of the candidate your photo email address phone number linkedin github now these are important links as i told you create a linkedin profile if you do not have a linkedin profile add a github link if you have that or any other repository any other repository that shows your technical projects uh, that are available for anybody to see mention that or if you also want to stand out a bit you can also add a qr code so that also gives a good idea now career objective again very precise two lines of career objective stick to that two or three lines not more than that then the education the education qualifications you can write in a tenses or in a tabular format whatever is fine with you your cv will not get rejected because uh, it, this was not in a tabular format and this was in sentences no that's not the point but always use bullet points don't write paragraphs don't make it look very clumsy and do not use many colors pink green red yellow no don't use that colors if you see the cv it is so simple just black and blue very very simple and looks nice so make sure you make it uh, very clearly visible then you come to the skills section now if you see the skills how nicely the skills are highlighted here and it gives it already gives me a vibe as a recruiter that this person is technical and they have also highlighted certain words which you can do you can easily bold certain technical skills or important words in a sentence so that for a recruiter those words are easily visible so i have given here two examples here and you can use uh, you know you can add it in this format or again you can make it in the tabular format but basically concentrate and add as many technical skills as you have in this section this is already giving me a tick mark okay this person knows a lot of technical stuff and uh, he or she is highly technical so let's go to the next section now in the projects very clearly here there is a project name there's a client name again what environment they have used so again they have highlighted their technical skills that they have worked on and then the duration very clear and then the github link so here again they are giving a link to see what work they have done in this project this again gives me a uh, feeling that this person is very uh, authentic you know i can verify this information if i go to the github repository so make sure you can add though you add those links if you have uh, for your projects that you have done and then comes the roles and responsibility so do not uh, you know skip or uh, or sorry do not uh, waste the space for adding what the project is all about instead write what was your job in that project so concentrate on the roles and responsibility section and i would say these are just four points but write more five six points and again make it very technical you can also mention your uh, programming skills your database skills all those keywords again back in uh, your roles and responsibilities and you can also highlight certain important words so for example developed responsible unit testing all these are good words and then uh, that shows me that this person knows what he's talking about and they have done end to end work in this project and uh, they know about code review they know about development they know about unit testing so it looks like a good cv to me it looks like a technical cv to me basically what we are trying to gauge whether you have technical knowledge or not and your cv should just say that you have a lot of technical knowledge so your cv should be only highly highly technical the reason why your cv gets rejected most of the time is because it is not talking about your technical skills and it is 
talking about all other skills. So I hope you understand that. Now, and then they have also mentioned the achievements in that project, which is also good. So this is a good to have. This will give you an edge over all other CVs. Now then let's go to the next project, similar format in the next project where there is very clearly project information, the technologies used, the GitHub link, again, the roles and responsibilities, again, gives me an idea that, okay, this person is very technical. So it's a very clear, very crisp CV with uh, less information, but right information. If you want, you can add more information in the roles and responsibility and make it more uh, technical. That's also good. Then comes the achievement for that particular project. So that is good. Now comes the other achievements, which is your, uh, you know, any awards or any other extracurricular activities that you've done. You can always add that. So I've given you two examples. So you can always, you know, uh, go ahead and add uh, whatever extra things you've done. But as I said before, all these other sections are not very important. Your two sections which are very important are your skills and your internships and project section where you're going to mention what work you have done. So these two things should be highly, highly technical. And then uh, your comes your personal details and that's it. That's that's a very clear uh, select CV. And uh, this CV will never get rejected in case if I'm looking for a fresher who is into software development, the CV will always get selected. Now, uh, one question is what should be the format of the CV? Now, there's so many tools available and there's so many different formats available. It's okay. The format of the CV can be uh, can be anything that doesn't matter. Now, the same CV I have also created in a different format. OK, say I've given my name and my contact information on the right hand side with uh, my education, my internship experience, my skills here. It's all fine. It, your CV will not get rejected because of this. It's not in this format or that format. Just your skills and your technical skills should get highlighted and should be clearly visible. It should not be a cluttered CV. It should not have many different colors or many different formats. Uh, and it should be very, very clearly readable. So uh, if you have this particular format of the CV or this particular format of the CV, that's okay. What is important it is the information that you have mentioned in the CV. So uh, in case if you want these templates of the CV, uh, the good CV, I am going to uh, share a link with you in the description section. You can go ahead and download these templates for you as well. Uh, I hope you understand what is a good CV and what is a bad CV. So creating a right CV is one part of it. But however, do you know, it is also very important to find the right keywords and have those keywords in your CV. Now, how do you find the right keywords? How do you read a job description? If you want to know that, please watch this video that clearly explains you how to read a job description as a fresher or an experienced candidate and find those keywords and mention those keywords in your CV because there's also an ATS tool that scans your CV most of the times. So this video is going to help you with that. In case if you want to talk to me directly, please, uh, you can also book my one-to-one -one consultation. There is a link in the uh, comment section and you can also follow me on LinkedIn where I share a lot of tips and tricks on hiring and recruitment. So uh, thank you everybody. Uh, I am Gurpreet and I work in recruitment. I hire a lot of people all across India and in Europe. Uh, I hope all of you stay safe and thank you so much and I wish you very all the best for your placements and uh, hope that you get a good job soon. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.